lighting. That's right. Lighting is very important for video, also for photo. But I want to talk about lighting in terms of how to light your apartment. Or at least how I changed the lighting in my kitchen area. I like to play the part of the host. And uh, one of my favorite places to be in is right there in the kitchen. Standing in the kitchen preparing drinks or um, if I cook, obviously that's a good spot to be in to cook. But at the same time I can see the whole living room and interact with my guests. I also have two seats at the kitchen island so they can uh, sit down and basically watch me do whatever I'll do there or help. Um, if I do a drink it's really nice because then I can talk to you while preparing a drink and then this whole interaction is just something I enjoy. It relaxes me and uh, I have fun doing that. Now, what I didn't like previously was the ceiling lighting situation. I hardly turned them on because there were big lights and big lights always or usually provide a harsh light. It just does not give you this inviting uh, vibe. I have three lights across the room. They have uh, Philips Hue lamps in it, so they can change color and they are nice to bring a certain vibe and a certain atmosphere into this room. But if you actually want to play a board game or something, then they are not bringing enough light. And then turning on the big lights just is not fun. So yet I always had to turn on the light in the hallway to just have a dim light far away give enough uh, brightness into the living room area. So I went ahead and looked for hanging lights. Didn't find too many great ones, but I found these ones from Ikea as well. Ikea is always a nice inspirational spot for me and uh, also affordable. So I kind of looked into the measurements and again, I didn't find too many long lights that were uh, in that price category. So ideally I would have liked them to be a couple centimeters lower than they would have um, be at the exact spot that I want them. But still, not to dismiss the, the upgrade, I really enjoy it. It brings a nice atmosphere to the room, to both of the rooms and it just, just looks way better. Now we go to the pantry. This little room contains my washer dryer. But other than that, there's not really much that this room is doing. So I figured, why not put some shelves up there and actually make it a pantry? It won't be a perfect pantry because if I do use the, the dryer functionality of my washer dryer, then it gets really warm in there. Also in the winter, because I have uh, floor heating, um, the whole pipes go all through that tiny room. So if I heat any other room in the apartment, it will get a little bit warm in that, in that tiny pantry room. But nonetheless, I still can um, store a bunch of things in here. And then I went to Ikea for a couple storage containers, those glasses, and I also bought a bunch of daily container after um, seeing the, the usage of them. I also like soft drinks, so I have a dedicated space in my fridge for soft drinks and uh, every once in a while I order a couple crates of them and store them in the basement. I'm just trying different things out right now until I can pick up my motorcycle from winter storage again and it's a little warmer and I can make some motorcycle content and also ride 
have withdrawal when I don't ride my motorcycle. You know, when I don't ride a motorcycle, I go through withdrawal. It's not good for my health. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to. I don't tell you what to do. And maybe we see each other in another video. Have a good day.